Rive has added the elastic curve which can be used to create smooth elastic animations like these. Let's go ahead and learn about the same. To demonstrate the elastic curve, I have created a path and rigged it with two bones to bend it like this. And I have a animation as well that is from it bending to becoming a straight line. Now by default, we have the linear curve and we can go ahead and use a cubic curve instead to get a smoother animation like this. And we can of course fiddle with the handles to make it more smoother or vice versa. Now we have the option to use the elastic curve, which can be used to add a bit of spring to our animation. Now watch what happens with the elastic curve. You can see it goes ahead and overshoots a little before settling into its position. That is if I go ahead and play the animation frame by frame, you can see it is overshooting a bit up. That is negative 2.3 degrees and then it goes back to the zero degree. Now if we were to do this with manual keyframes, then we have to manually keyframe the positions like these and then we have a animation like this. But now we can achieve the same result without creating those extra keyframes. We can simply use the elastic curve and then fiddle around with these values to get a desirable effect. Now here, first of all, we have the option to either apply the springiness to the ease in portion, ease out portion or both of the directions. To understand the same, I'll go ahead and create a new timeline. Here, we'll go ahead and animate in ellipse. So let's go ahead and create an ellipse. I'll go ahead and key in its position and simply animate it to the other end like this. Now you can see we have this type of animation with the linear curve, but if we apply the elastic, we have a bit of spring at the end. And now we can go ahead and choose this spring to be applied at the ease in, that is the start, ease out at the end, which is the case now, or to both directions. I can go ahead and use ease in. And now you will notice that it goes ahead and takes a step back and then reaches the end, that is, the springiness at the start of the animation. And to make it noticeable, for now I can go ahead and just increase the amplitude and the period, we'll get back to that. For now, let's go ahead and set it to something like, let's say 0.8. And now if I go ahead and play the animation, you can see it goes ahead and goes back and then goes to the end, that is this right here. Because we have set this to ease in. If it is ease out, then the same will happen in the other direction. Now you have the option to choose ease in and out as well. That is springiness in both of the directions. That is something like this. Now for most of the time you would use the ease out that is springiness at the end of the animation. Now let's take a look at the other two values which can be used to influence the springiness. First of all amplitude and the period. The amplitude is the amount of transformation. That is, if we want this to bend more than, let's say, right now it is bending a max of negative 2.3 in the other direction. Let's say I want it to be bending somewhere here. Then I can go ahead and increase the amplitude to let's say something like 1.5. Now you can see it is bending a bit more. And if I were to increase that to two, it will bend a little more. So if I, review the animation, you can see it goes ahead and reaches somewhere like negative 14. Again, you can go ahead and increase the value more to reach something like the end of the artboard, that is the top. So you can control the intensity of the transformation with the amplitude. Higher the number, higher the transformation. Let's set it back to two. Now the period can be used to control the amount of wiggle of the animation. That is, here you can see it goes ahead and goes to the top, then to the bottom and then settles back into the position. Let's say we want it to wiggle a bit more. To do that, we can just decrease the amount of the period and it should be in point. That is, you can set something like, let's say 0.75. 
And now it will go ahead and wiggle a bit more. And we can go ahead and again, change the value a bit more to get drastic results. And if I go ahead and set it to something like, let's say 0.25, now it goes ahead and wiggles a bit more. And let's set it back all the way to 0.1. And you can see we have a lot of springiness in the animation. And to notice the same, let's set the playback speed to 0.1x as well. Now watch what happens. It goes ahead and wiggles for a lot of time before resting into its position. Let's set the playback speed back to 1x and this is the result. It's fast. So that's how you can use the elastic curve to create animations like this. Remember, the amplitude is the intensity of the transformation. Higher the number, we have higher the transformation. And the period can be used to control the amount of wiggle. Lower the number, more the number of wiggle we add to the animation. So that's the elastic curve which can be used to create smooth spring animations in Rive.